Pastor Todd of the Devotional for September 28th. The psalmist pictures a band of pilgrims making their way towards the temple through difficult terrain. The last phrase of verse 5 is difficult to understand, but in the context it seems to mean these pilgrims have such a desire to be at God's temple that they make the rough desert paths into highways. They pass through the valley of Baca, which means tears. It's symbolic for a place of affliction or difficulty, but their anticipated joy at being at the temple turns this desert valley into a place of springs. God sends rain to provide for them as they travel. As a result, they go from strength to strength, God's strength, not their own, arriving safely to appear before God in Zion. Meeting with God in the company of His people is a joyous goal. Dietrich Bonhoeffer once said, He who is alone with his sins is utterly alone. It may be that Christians, notwithstanding corporate worship, common prayer, and all their fellowship and service, may still be left to their loneliness. The final breakthrough to fellowship does not occur because, though they have fellowship with one another as believers and as devout people, they do not have fellowship as the undevout, as sinners. The pious fellowship permits no one to be a sinner. So everyone must conceal his sin from himself and from their fellowship. We dare not be sinners. Many Christians are unthinkably horrified when a real sinner is discovered among the righteous. So we remain alone with our sin, living in lies and hypocrisy. The fact is, we are sinners. We must come humbly and honestly to meet the Savior and find joy with others who are also there to meet Him.